Now, what does it feel like to be differently abled? How do you get treated by society? Does it even engender any form of confidence in you? Today, we're speaking to a woman who is inspiring change in her community, one child after the other, and one story after the next. Who am I talking about? Well, Enyo Nam will be joining us, and she was born without arms. But that did not stop her from achieving her aim of supporting many other kids. And today, she'll be joining us on the show, but she's not the only one. I started off by talking about different places. I may be too bad, but it doesn't matter because I'm still your good girl. And Sina So will be joining us to tell us all about her brand new singles and what life has been like in the last couple of months. She has a new album coming out, and so don't miss This Is The Day Show. A big thank you to you for joining us this afternoon, and we do hope that you enjoy today's edition. Well, I should say a big thank you to my style team as well, Vive Styling. I'm wearing Sarah Ban, and I want you to have a look at this gorgeous outfit. Thank you so much, Sarah Ban GH, for this lovely look. And to my hair team, of course, Hair Affairs by Aisha, and to Nafsi MUA, and to you again for watching. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. you're wondering which of these artists is coming on could it be Sina So or could it be Kitty well you remember a couple of months ago we had Kitty on the show it was exciting and we had a lot of fun he was even able to use my name to produce a new song I'm still waiting for him to release that song so that means he's not the one coming but we haven't had Sina So on the show since it started so why not bring her so she can tell us all about her two new singles and what life has been like has life been life in here well I think at this point we're going to welcome her with one of her brand new songs so, Phil, are you ready? I love this one. Have a thank seat. Thank you. Thank you so much. Too bad for who? Mm. Hmm. Mm. Too bad for who? Tell us. Spill it. Oh. Spill. Too bad for someone? <laughs> who? Your pastor because you are naughty. <laughs> and so when he's preaching, you don't listen? No, I'm a very good girl. <laughs> I mean, speaking from someone that just did this song, but I'm a very good girl. You are a good girl. I've heard that. <laughs> mm. Yeah, same way I've heard that. You're very naughty too. Oh. Oh, but you're a fantastic Bella. singer. Thank you. I'm just kidding about Thank the naughty you. one. But you have a little... Mm. Oh, every girl is naughty one way or the other, I mean. right? But tell me a bit about Too Bad because I like it and it's mm -hmm. it's a different vibe altogether. Yes, it is. Are you changing your sound? What exactly is going on? Um, I think I just allow myself to go or wherever the music takes me, wherever the studio session takes me, the beat takes me. I just let it flow. Okay. Because it's art. Whatever comes to me is what I put out pretty much. So how did this song come to you? What were you doing um, at the time you got it? This song, I recorded the song last year. Okay. With DJ Breezy, amazing producer, obviously. Yes. And he played this beat and immediately I started freestyling. Like he gave me a microphone, like literally like a, a studio microphone. Started vibing, freestyle. I think I might put out the video very soon. Okay. Freestyle, freestyle. Oh, you shot this. that already? Yeah. I oh. Mean, the freestyle video. Oh, the freestyle. Yeah, because yes. I was going to say this video, you have to put me inside. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'll come and find you. I'll come and find because you're oh, bad, come, you come, come. You know? Yeah, bad and bougie. <laughs> Hello. Okay. So yeah, pretty much it was a freestyle. You know, it, it, it wasn't from, let's say, any place specifically. It's just vibes. I like that you still infuse your gun in there. It had to be. Yeah, it you cannot be, be a gun girl and you not. See, I can't run away from it. But I'm sure a lot of people are identifying with you because of that, because yes. of that gun vibe. What do definitely. people usually say when they're like, okay, when it comes to Sina, you definitely hear some, some gun. gun in there. Yeah. Somewhere. I love it because everyone needs an identity. And as much as I, I would admit, I, I am from Jamestown. I am gun. I'm half gun, half airway, actually. Okay. But I speak, speak gun, no. <laughs> I speak more gun. No. I speak more gun than airway. And I had to, it has to be in there because that would work, that would cross internationally as exactly. well. Exactly. So. It had to be there. So what kind of musician are you? Are you Afro, so neo, so... I'm hearing so many different genres different now. I'm not even sure. so many genres. Yes. <laughs> Everyone is just creating whatever yeah. comes to them. Um, I like to say I'm a blend of everything. I'm an Afro beat artist. I'm an R&B artist. I'm an Afro soul. I'm an Afro jazz. I'm, I'm a high life. Everything, whatever comes to me. I'm Ghanaian, so whatever comes to me, I just go with it. Now, be beyond Too Bad, you also have another one. Another one. Different. Different place. place. Yes. What's the vibe for that one like? That one is, that one is, okay, that's more Afro pop. Okay. Yes, that's more Afro pop, Afro beats, swing. Um, that is also a good song. I mean, I can't it, wait to. It has to be. <laughs> a lot of work went into it. I had a songwriter on board as well for that song. Usually I write myself, but I think it came at a time I was like, you know what? All the greats have songwriters as well. So it's okay for me to experiment with that exactly. as well. Exactly. And to anybody else who, keeps growing at yes. every point. And I guess you're yes. probably also speaking about you yes, and your definitely, craft. Definitely. So you're not in the same place anymore, you're in a different I, space. Yes. But ask me, what space are you in at the moment? I think I'm feeling like a bird. I feel very free. I okay. feel very 
liberated. I've found my voice. And it's funny to say I found my voice at this time, but we grow every time. I found even my family. I found my cult. I found... I'm feeling very liberated Okay. At this point. You found your voice in the sense that in the beginning, what, you were just experimenting or...? I mean, in the beginning, I was experimenting. At the same time, I... I would say the truth of the matter is I know what my voice is, but I've realized my strengths now. You okay. know, I, I, I used to sing a particular way. Like if I listen to my very first single and I compare it to now, mm -hmm. I realized I was stuck in this whisper tone. Yeah. And now I allow my voice to just voice. Is like it also whatever. because of what people were probably forcing you to do? No, I think at that time I just didn't know my potential of my voice. I didn't know what I could do with my voice. I just sang. I, I'm one person that I wasn't, like I was very shy with my voice. I won't sing in church. You yeah. catch, you won't catch me singing the Mr. People. Mm -hmm. So be, translate, that translates into my music because I'll be hiding my voice. But now I can free it. I have like different ranges that I, now I don't play. I, like I just flex all the ranges of my voice. What led to this? Were you training a lot more? Training a lot more. Exper okay. Experimenting a lot more. Allowing myself to just whatever comes to me. That's the thing. Whatever comes. Now I don't overthink anymore. Like yeah. whatever comes to me, I just. I'm sure if I asked you this five years ago, yeah. where you wanted to get to then, yeah. it's not the same now. So yeah. what's the plan? The plan now is international. Um, I feel like it's about time for me to perform on these big stages that I only dream about. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I only dream about them and now it's time. We're taking all the steps that we can, creating the sound that we know can travel as well. So right now it's just... But beyond creating the sound, what else are you doing to ensure? Because sometimes you have to also be deliberate about yes. putting yourself in that space. In, yes, so definitely with this, like I said, with the sound as well. I have a bigger team now and they're always strategizing. I'm still independent though. Okay. Hopefully these sounds will bring some deals my way, which makes sense. Because these deals, they have to make sense. Of course. You know, paperwork-wise and all of that. So we're strategizing, like we're positioning ourselves for big opportunities. Okay. Yeah. Not to jinx it, but which of these labels are you dreaming to be signed on to? Oh, uh, wow. Uh, let me see. I, I can't see. I mm -hmm. can't see. But all these, I was with Universal three years ago, so yeah. I wouldn't mind that Going standard back. type labels. How did they end? Labels. What happened? Because then um, we're hoping that there should have been a renewal. Yeah, we didn't renew. That's the thing. You so we, didn't or they, I didn't. Why? I, didn't. I feel like, okay, we, we were together for three years, and I feel like within that three years, what I wanted mm -hmm. within that, we didn't really achieve that. What did you want? I wanted international recognition. It was an international label, so I was expecting my career to go further than the borders of, of Were Ghana. you expecting too much in very short amount I of time? I don't think so. I think I gave them three good years of my life, and I feel like at least, okay, first year, let's get to know each other. Okay. The other years, let's shoot, let's move. But the thing about them is, um, I think we were suffering. We didn't have, like, we were meeting at a point that the, the, I won't say language barrier, because music is, you know, but I think we did, we, we weren't understanding each other on, songs to release like it would take like eight months to decide on one song what yes so in let's say in three years we'll end up releasing about two three songs which wasn't enough and that was in your style you was, wanted more songs than that i wanted I, they wanted a different style for me as well it just wasn't working at the same time management wise with them they kept changing their heads and their oh. a and r's it's like every year there's a new person i have to get used to so there's no or continuity there's no continuity so that affected me because like every time i have to get new to it get used to a new A&R, a new PR, a new this, but I'm like, okay. Yeah. Then they come to you and like, Sina, so who are you? So tell us, like, bro, I told you about it. You know, so it was just stalling, stalling every single thing. But I think it's the first one I actually said exactly what the issue uh, well, is. Well, that's the magic but of coming on Berlin show. Hello. You have something, you have something. <laughs> <laughs> but so if they should come to you again? Oh, my, my. Would you accept it? <sighs> it's funny, it's funny. I, I think, I always say with, with these labels, if the paperwork makes sense for me and the directions align and the vision aligns, would. yes, I will. Would you also say that probably they were trying to tap into that voice that you've just found? Probably. And they weren't getting that? Probably. What could that be? So when I was with Universal, an example was I wanted to drop Ojoli. Okay. They didn't want me to drop Ojoli. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> and be because they said it was... It was, I mean, Ojol is a full gun song, no yeah. English anyway. Yeah. They were worried about it crossing over. And that made sense. Like, yeah. It made sense. But I knew that Ojoli needed that. It was a season for that. We hadn't heard that high life, gun high life in a while. And yeah. I just believed in that song so well. They didn't see the vision. So I was stubborn enough to drop it without them. 
that was after you left them? I, or I was actually while you still were with them? them when I dropped. So it was just a very stubborn move, but it paid off. They didn't because they came back to sue you or no, anything? No, they didn't. They didn't because it turned out good. What was happening to you that you had told <laughs> you were telling someone to she a jolly because they never? Well, uh, I, I think sometimes I can be such an old soul because this song, it just came to me. And sometimes songs come to me maybe with a beat. But this one just came to me random. I was walking on the streets of Coco Mimili uh -huh. and the melody came to my head. Just like that? Just so like it's not that. like you saw someone no. with his side chick and his wife caught them and beat them no. up or something? No, at all. Absolutely nothing to do with no. that. Yeah. I mean, in terms of collaboration as well, because that's also one of the ways by which a lot of our teeth cross over. Who are you working towards that you don't mind uh, spilling? Let me see. I really, internationally, okay, I really want to do a song with Burna Boy. Okay. I really want go, to. Go. I, Amen. I feel like I'm meant to do a song with Burna Boy. It's happening. Amen. Yeah. Amen. It must happen. It must happen. Burna Boy, listen, if you don't, if you don't collaborate with so then I don't know what you're doing in this life. Please come home. Come home. Yes. Come home. Come home. Yes. He's probably even a gun boy if he were gun. I feel like he looks gun. Exactly. <laughs> he, he, he sounds gun. He sounds gun. <laughs> <laughs> about to come So maybe it won't be a bad idea. Is yes. your team working on it? Definitely. Okay. So, strat so uh, last year I released a song called Plenty Evil. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was recording that song, I heard him on that song. And I was I'm like, okay, if ever someone talks to Bernard Boy about Cena and he goes through my songs, mm -hmm. I need him to resonate to a particular song. He's like, okay, yeah. I can actually work with this girl. So there are some songs I would release eventually that are strategic yeah. for some features. I want a song with Chris Brown as well. Amen to that. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And I've seen that he's doing a lot of partnership. Yes, he is. You know, he's crossing over. He's now understanding a yes. kind of rhythm. So yes. why not? It should happen. It should happen. Yeah. Make it happen, Cena. Mm -hmm. But you have an album coming up. I do. When is it coming out? We're looking at October. Okay. Tell me yes, about pretty it. pretty soon. And it's my debut album. Nice. I've been stalling it for a while. And I'm happy. Okay. I mean, I think it's about time. And that, that will also explore another different level of me, growth. The, the sound would speak for itself. The growth would, you see the growth with everything. I really can't wait. And it has more surprise features in there as does well. Does it? Yes, it does. <laughs> We're looking forward to um, the album that's coming out as well as all the other great things that you're Thank doing. You. So keep it up. Thank and I can't you. wait to see you on those platforms, Thank winning you. all the big awards and Thank performing you. and selling our stadiums. Because yes. we'll be there to support you. Yes, you will. Deal? Deal. All right. Thank you so much for joining for us, Sina. Me. And well, check out her two new ones. So that's Too Bad and Different Places. Yes. On that note, thank you so much, Sina. It's been a thank pleasure. You and you thank look you. fabulous. Thank you. You too. Thank you. All the best. You. Yeah, and you smell good. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> anyway, well, we're playing Different Places. Is that it? Too, too bad. bad. Okay, let's jump to Too Bad. And when we get back, we have another conversation coming up. Don't go anywhere. This is The Day Show.